With a snapshot 24W33A, we got resource pack version 35 with emissive block texture support and the changes to shaders and pulse process effects. My name is Sliced Lime and this is a quick guide to the changes. There's now an optional light emission field on block model elements, which is an integer value between 0 and 15. If this value is set to non-zero, that block element will be rendered as if it was always lit with at least that level. In shader news, the chunk offset uniform in terrain shaders has been renamed to model offset, and some larger changes have been made to post-process effect definitions, with in target and aux target merged into a single inputs list, and targets becoming a map instead of a list where the name field becomes the key in the map. There are also some changes to how the Fabulous Mode, Transparency, Post-Processing and the Outline Processing shaders handle external targets. This pack version also comes with updates for the bundle UI textures as well as the bundle icon model and textures. Texture mapping has been updated for the Dragon Egg, Tropical Fish Fin Overlays, Arrows and Bee Stingers. The model and texture mapping of all torch types, repeaters and comparators have been updated. And finally, there's now a new file controlling obsolete translation keys, which is applied when the game starts, found in the game jar as assets slash minecraft slash lang slash deprecated dot json. Those strings are no longer used by the game and are filtered away or renamed. That means if you have custom content using those strings, you'll need to manually re-add them under different keys. And that's it for Research Pack version 35. My name is Sliced Lime, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.